Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Middletown, Connecticut with Sean Paul Reyes, a.k.a. the Long Island Frauditor, as he attempts to enter a building that caused him some problems a long time ago. But you know what? It still ends up causing him some problems. And we are here to laugh at this condescending prick's misery. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Today we have returned to the Connecticut State Police Headquarters here in Middletown, Connecticut, or should I say Corrupticut, where I was assaulted by Sergeant Brian Fahey right outside these doors here. He broke my camera, assaulted me, and pushed me all the way towards this flagpole despicable go watch the original video it will be in the description below we came back here today to peacefully exercise our first amendment rights as well as do a FOIA request for his disciplinary record and to see if we can run into him and ask him if he's feels sorry for what he did because we tried to hold him accountable through internal affairs they investigated themselves and found wrong no wrongdoing as well as criminally through the Connecticut State's Attorney's Office, and they didn't do anything either. So hopefully we can run into him. If not, we'll just do our FOIA request and exercise our rights. Well, gee, Sean, let me explain this to you in simple terms that even you can understand. If you act like a prick, you're going to get treated like one. And this can be translated further into an old computer programming maxim. Garbage in, garbage out. But without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so before we go around to the front of the building, let's take a look around the visitor's parking lot here. Peacefully exercising our First Amendment right. Are you calling me? I can't hear you. Yeah, can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, it's 854. And your name? I'm Trooper Keo. Trooper Keo? Yeah, what do you need? 854? Yeah. No, I don't need anything help with anything, okay. Trooper. Well, Appreciate what are you it. out here doing? Oh, I'm just taking a walk around, that's okay. all. And why are you recording? Aren't you recording? Yeah, but I have to. I choose I'm to. I'm interacting with the public, so I have uh, to be recording. And I choose to because I'm interacting with a law enforcement officer. But you've been recording that we've been having reports of you out here for a while. I've been recording Re reports of around. reports of someone recording. Being suspicious walking around because this is a, a building with important people and things in here. Oh, uh, so you've got some very important uh, people in there, huh? Well, did you know Sean was a uh, is a uh, VIP as well? So you should show him all the courtesy in the world because he is a very irritating prick, as you shall soon see. So, are you important because you have a uniform no, I'm on? No, saying not me. Well, who's important? That's because inside of this have building. A huge crowd of people in there. Yeah, who's important? civilians so oh, you're out it, here, it wouldn't be the it wouldn't be they the, are coming here asking why there's this is the connecticut state recording. this is the connecticut state police headquarters correct and they're asking why you're recording we have civilians coming up to me asking why a man is recording they feel uncomfortable civilians are coming up civilians, to you yes. asking why yes i'm recording because yes. it's suspicious yes how is it suspicious because you're recording in a parking lot do you live here are you here for i don't a live in the parking lot no are you here for a reason i am here for a reason What's the reason? I don't know if I want to disclose that to you at this point, just because it might compromise what I'm working on here, but what's so suspicious about a man recording? Oh, Sean, you brain-dead blockhead. Uh, what's the, it's not the fact that you're recording that suspicious. It's the fact that uh, you are in a police parking lot doing it, which could be considered scouting for a terroristic type of mission because didn't you know that when terrorists decide to do something they uh, plan it in advance and they use these things called video cameras to gather as much information about the place as they can so they can determine when is the best time they can launch the attack and therefore cause the most pain and suffering so 
Can you connect the dots here? You're walking around a police parking lot with a camera. Nobody knows who you are. So therefore, can we get a clue here? Oh yeah, you might be go doing something nefarious. I'm trying to plan something. But we all know who you are. Sean, we know you're not going to plan anything like that. You just want to antagonize as many people as you can. And it appears to be getting the job done already. You're in a, an area that's public, which you, you are free to be, but you're reporting and making it look suspicious. So you're, you're being a threat to the civilians that are coming up to me and complaining about you. So because I'm, let me just get this straight, Trooper. So because I'm recording, I'm a threat to your, to your very important people that are inside of this you. building. No, Sean, that's not the only thing. It's just your general attitude as well. The way you talk to people, the way you carry yourself, the way you act like a complete jackass, holier than thou attitude that tends to rub people the wrong way. I would have to say that only 10% of what uh, people find and irritating about you is the fact that you do record a lot. But, uh, like I said before, it's the general overall personality and attitude that's your main problem. For being suspicious. To my civilians that I protect on a daily basis, yes. I don't think you met the, civ the, the, the two civilians that are inside. No, I, think I have a line of civilians. I have more than 20 people inside of just civilians that I, don't even work for the state. Yeah. But they came up to me and said that they feel threat by threatened by you recording because you look suspicious. So you came out here to, to do what? To ask you to leave. Why? Because you're making the civilians feel uncomfortable. Let, let's move out of this woman's way. You're making the, the, the people in this, in this building feel uncomfortable. They are coming here to get their pistol permits or fingerprints, and you're making them feel uncomfortable. By recording? Why do you have, yes. You look suspicious out here reporting, so they're reporting suspicious activity. Okay, and you're responding to that suspicious yes. activity? But I don't Why understand. Why is that a problem? It, I mean, it, I think it's a problem because there's nothing su suspicious about... It is a man recording in a parking lot. Why are you doing that? Well, if there's one thing I really hate, it's uh, circular arguments. Arguments that just tend to go around and around and go, well, absolutely nowhere. And that's exactly what Sean Paul Reyes is a master of. So she finally ends up walking away, and he ends up getting into the building. But it's all for naught, uh, considering what happens afterwards. So let's go ahead and skip to that part. Many, many minutes later... Hi, sir. How are you? Hey, how are you? You already told me you didn't have anything here. Oh, yeah. I just got to do some FOIA requests and things Someone? of that nature. A FOIA request for your body camera footage and Sergeant uh, Brian Fahey's uh, disciplinary record. You have to send it in, in, in writing. Yeah. Who's the guy behind you that you're holding? I have to conduct, I have to conduct uh, business here, Sergeant. Sir, what can we do for you? Here's my pistol. Come on. Oh, what you're the Sergeant of pistol, pistol Permits, aren't you? Come on. Sir. Excuse me, sir. You have to get sir. out of the way. Sir, I know, me, sir, I know your inclination is wanting to assault me, Excuse Sergeant. Me, sir. Stop pushing me. I'm trying to get in. I'm trying you to get in the building. in the building. You have no business here. I do have business here. Stop acting like a, like a, like a savage. What are you Back doing? Up. Oh, the irony of that statement right there, Sean, considering that you're the one who's acting like a complete savage by putting your foot in front of the door just to cause an issue. At least that's what some normal people would think, that you're out to uh, cause some issues just for the fame, just for the clicks and views. What a sad, pathetic little life you must have, Sean. Sergeant Brian Fahey just took my camera yet again, the coward that he is. He just took my camera yet again and stopped it from recording. But the officer that talked to us in the parking lot, her body camera was recording. <laughs> We're going to make another internal affairs complaint on him. This is incredible. Look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry. Oh, looky what we got here. We got a little crybaby snitch. Yeah, I heard that worked out pretty well for you when you were in prison yourself. So let's go ahead and hear some more of those tears, shall we? Right, exactly. It happened right over here, ladies and gentlemen. Right over here. Right here. Right where we're standing. Look at him. You can't control yourself. You're an animal. 
You're an animal who can't control yourself. You're a disgrace to that badge. You just witnessed somebody get assaulted and their property taken from them and not do anything about it, Trooper? Is that standard operating procedure? Because there's the criminal right there in front of you. If you'd like to place him under arrest, Trooper. He just assaulted me and took my property and violated my First Amendment right. But no, these troopers aren't going to do anything about that, right? Well, gee, I mean, come on now, Sean. They got to investigate it first. And, uh, well, when they do investigate, they're going to generally find that people like you are nothing but a bunch of scumbag antagonists. And, therefore, we generally won't be ruled in your favor. Just ask, uh... Christopher Cordova about his recent issue with that. That's right. They found that he acted like a complete buffoon and they dropped the case that he had brought up. So if you can play, act like a complete antagonist, guess what? The, it's going to be dropped because they know that you're the one that started it. So quit acting like a little whiny crybaby punk for your audience, because in the end, it just doesn't really work out too well for you. All right, sir, so you can come on in. Thank you. Anything in your pockets, go ahead and take out. So sure. So wallet, put right over here. Is Sergeant Brian Fahey one of those important people that we're, that's in this building, ma'am? The one that you just saw assault me and didn't do anything about it as a law enforcement officer? In broad daylight. Can you put the cell phone down? You have to go through the metal detector. In broad daylight, ma'am. And then you're just going to sign in. You're going to put legal for your destination, okay? And we have the ladies here that are going to talk to you. Help you out with whatever you need. And I'm just going to have to hold on to the lighter for you, okay? Sure, you yeah. You can get it back at the end. Yep. So are you going to do anything about that They're assault you just witnessed? You. Is that what you want to Yeah. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. No shame whatsoever. So Trooper, I'm, a, I'm gonna be on my way in a second. I just had a question for you. So you're telling me, I just wanna get it for the record, you know, for court documents, just have it memorialized here. You just watched a man assault me and grab my camera, interfering with a constitutionally protected activity. You're a law enforcement officer who took an oath to uphold the Constitution. Are you going to do anything about that? I saw you get in his face as well. So I did see so you saw me you get. saw it on body camera? Yeah, the body camera. We'll get you the body can, camera, that's for sure. You can see that you, but you were there. stopped him trying to get you from entering. He I'm allowed you, to enter into the building. He told you to get a report, right? He told, he told me to, to submit something in writing. Yes. Yeah, I, but I'm going to have a right to be here. They told you, but I have a right to come in here and conduct business. Thing? He has As no right to put their hands. He has no right to put his hands on me. You just watched a man. Listen to me. You watched a man. An, I'm, I'm answering your question. Do you want me to answer your go question? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The only persons that are allowed to come in here is with an appointment, reports and records, and for the pistol, for first time pistol from everybody else, we have to turn away. And what did I, what did I tell you I needed? Well, gee, at first you told her that uh, your business, well, you weren't going to tell her what your business was, so therefore, uh, yeah, it's kind of on you at that point. Records, right? Well, records is not open today. It's only open Tuesday through Thursday. But somehow I spoke to somebody from because Legal. Because they Legal wanted to talk to you. Okay, great. So what I'm saying is, how is this not... You saw a man put his hands on Did I put my hands I on him? I saw a man telling you not to be in the building when you were not allowed to be in the you, building. Did you watch him put his hands on me or not? Did he put his hands on me or not? did not tell us that you had anything Did he put his hands on me or not? After, and then they let you in. Ma'am, did he put his hands on me or not? Once I saw you do what you did. Once, what did I do? When you physically tried to stop him, open the door. I tried to come inside the building because I'm allowed to. Just like I'm not inside the building the right now. I, I'm inside the building. talking to you. Because they requested you to come so, in. If you didn't have an appointment, I just want to know. Listen, I'm going to be on my way. I'm going to be on my way. The damage is. I was already context. assaulted. Did you watch? You watched him assault me. Are you going to do anything about you it? Yes or no? Are you going to do anything about you it? See the video. Then you're going to be held accountable. Are you going to do anything about it? Yes or no? Well, now I'm just going to end it right here because he's trying to play a little game with her, trying to get her to admit to something that uh, may not be the truth. But she never gives in, so uh, he ends up walking away from the situation and uh, goes outside and whines and complains to his audience, his poor, deluded little audience that he has got to cater to. So in the end, he didn't get his way because he encountered several police officers who knew how to play the game better than him. 
At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.